a 1979 Dodge Aspen station wagon. It is quite unique. I've had it for 17 years. Uh, I am the second owner of it. It actually sold new in Wausau, Wisconsin. Um, it is a great car to drive. Runs good. Drives great. Love having it. Did it come with this RT package for a station wagon? No. This is a what-if car. If Chrysler would have built this car, they did build a sport wagon with the flares, with the spoilers, with the 360. But this is a cross between the Aspen RT79 Coupe with the hood stripes and the back deck lift stripe. Everything else mimics the sport wagon. They're one year, they're two year only wheels. They're very hard to find. The center caps are impossible to find. I've had the car 17 years and have been looking for parts since I got it. it. Took me over 10 years to round up all the correct parts. So these are all Chrysler parts on this car. That's great. I remember these cars for the two doors were pretty sharp looking cars. Yep. I was a kit car owner for many years. Uh, Richard Petty kit car, A43 oh, package car. A43 on the door. Yep. I remember those cars. Yep. Those yep. were uh, not too many of those made. No, 247. I had number 217. It's still in the area to the kit I sold it to. Um, but it needs a full resto. Uh, this paint's been on this car for over 30 years. It was repainted 30 years ago. Uh, and I've owned it 17. But um, the neat thing is it sold at Grand Central Dodge in Wausau, which is now Brickner. Grand, you know, Brickner Motors on Grand Avenue. It's exactly the same place it sold at in 1979. Spent its whole life in Kalamazoo, Michigan, pretty much. Um, I actually rode in this exact car when I was 14 years old. That's a great story. I saw the uh, sticker on the back for uh, Wausau. Yep, and that is, came from a gentleman that worked at Wausau at Grand Central Dodge, and he had a couple left, and I begged him for a red one, and he had a red one, and he gave it to me. Oh, very nice. So it's not recut. That is originally what they put on the cars. I do like the four doors and station wagons, but having this uh, with the RT stickers on here and the wing in the back is just pretty cool. Yeah. Well, the wing is actually the, the fact, this is a factory air deflector to keep the back window clean because he had no windshield wiper. But it's uh, bucket seats, automatic on the, co on the floor, tough wheel, AM, FM, 8-track. Um, yeah, it's a fun car. So you had the bucket seats put in because there would have been a bench seat. No, sport wagons would have had bucket seats. They actually came with buckets, really. Yep, buckets and automatic on the floor on, a, on the sport wagon if you look at the dealer literature. Yes, this car had a bench seat and an automatic on the column. Yes, it did. But those are all factory. I see. Everything is factory Chrysler. So it's if Chrysler will, would have built an RT wagon, this is the envision that I had. They should have. 15 years ago. What engine is it here now? It is a 360. Okay, what was originally in here? Was originally six. was a 225 six cylinder car. Oh, okay. Super six. Yeah, so. Yeah, six, and I know there's a few of them that had the 318. Some of them had 318, some of them had four speeds. Yeah, they had three speed with four, or four speed overdrive. Yep, uh, very common. In my Valari, which yep. Is nice. yep. I have everything actually to put it to, uh, everything but one component to put it to a stick car if I wanted to. But. Yeah, it's fun enough to drive it the way it is. There was always a lot of these four doors and station wagons around. I remember seeing. Oh but yeah. Now today in 2023. No. You just don't see them. No, you won't see them. And my Valari, my two Valaris, just both rusted out in the fenders. Yep. So uh, I this, drove them in winter. Yeah, this car's actually only got just under 57,000 miles on it. Oh wow. Yeah, so it's actually got low miles. That's pretty great. That's just a great story. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for your time. You betcha. Have a great day.